from the racetrack. It's time to go see what everybody's up to and hopefully have a race car to put together. So let's do this. It's pretty cool being back at this track because when we were here last year, we were all under the impression that this was going to be the last time we raced here. So uh, I'm really happy that they were able to save it and bring it around again for this year and hopefully many years in the future because this is a fun track to race at. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's go racing. It's like 310, we're supposed to run in like 45 minutes, so uh, trying to hustle. This wind is no joke though, this is wild. Hopefully it doesn't rain at least. Oh, that's a sexy looking race car on its way up to the lanes. Boogity, boogity, boogity. All right, we're sixth pair and the two best runs right now are 388 by Paul Lee and um, 392 by Blake Alexander. Everybody else has kind of struggled getting down the track so far. Um, there's a couple of four rows, but other than that, it's been a struggle for everybody. at 172 Austin shut him off it I think All right, so everybody was made on our team has been making fun of me for a couple of weeks because of the whole where I said that was the greatest sunset ever uh, in Gainesville so uh, I'm putting in a new applicant for really awesome sunset that is a pretty pretty damn cool sunset pardon my French and I think I've got the best dinner spot out of anyone for uh, dinner tonight so pretty happy with that Saturday morning we are fixing to start day two of qualifying just fixing to leave the hotel and I will see you guys in a little bit at the racetrack so right now what I'm going through and doing is putting the header back on the head that we ran yesterday um, we noticed that, that one of the lash caps on it was a little bit messed up nothing too bad but something that we needed to keep an eye on so marbles just decided that we were gonna replace it so putting this back on and then I am going to go over and fold parachutes and then hopefully by then Mr. Terry has some gaskets for us to start putting this thing together. So try to be productive. She looks mean and ready to go fast. We're waiting on Mr. Terry over there to, uh, you know, for us to start the thing and make her make some noise. I want her to sound mean like she hates us or hates uh, whoever we're running. All right, it's about time to go racing. Uh, we are up here on the line. We are next. Right now we're sitting on the bump. I think or we might have just been bumped to 17th uh, with the 65 that we ran yesterday. But the track seems good. We figured out why it was dropping holes. So we uh, should be good to go. is there adjusting the valves this has been a really good service actually we've been uh, keeping track on this one right now we are at an hour and two minutes hour three minutes nearly and uh, we're adjusting the valves and we'll start it in probably 10 minutes maybe so we're doing really good we're happy with that parachutes are done everything is as taken care of as it can be so I'm just waiting for marbles to finish this side of valves so I can put valve covers on and spark plugs and then he'll move on to the other side valve covers, spark plugs, adjust valves, all that stuff, and then we'll get to start it. So let's go racing, boys. So if you guys have been watching the videos for a while, you know that we are real good friends with all of the people on the uh, Tony Schumacher team with uh, JCF. And in Mona, they made it to the finals, and it rained out. So we are about to run the finals. Mr. Goldilocks and Mr. Spider are standing back there, and uh, we're fixing to run the finals, and hopefully hand them the Wally from the Mona. And we'll so we're in a 
we're thinking about? Funny cars. Crankshaft come out like that. So this gentleman just came by the pit with a fully operational rocket model of the funny car. He sells them and like it's literally routed into the headers. The detail on this thing is amazing. So, uh, sir, how do uh, how do people on my YouTube find you and look at all this stuff? Well, uh, my name is Terry Burchette and uh, I build in. Uh, Sell uh, rocket funny cars, jet cars, top fuel cars, um, and they're fun. They're just as fast as the real thing. <laughs> Do you have a website or phone number I can give uh, people? I have a phone number. I don't okay. have a website. All right. Phone number is 602-628-4977. Awesome. That is that is really cool, really sir. Awesome. That is what I like that. So I am back home in San Marcos. I really did not feel like videoing the rest of the weekend uh, there in Phoenix. That was a little bit depressing, not qualifying. And I don't, I think I got some of it on video, but uh, the crankshaft decided it was going to say ejecto cedo because on the last run and it split and we got the new V6 nitro engine option. Um, which, as many of you, I'm sure, can imagine, is not how it was designed. You're down about 2,500 horsepower when you're down to a V6, and all sorts of other things can go wrong, and we are lucky they didn't. But um, I say it in every video, even when things go bad, especially when things go bad, you just got to keep on going, never give up. That's the thing I preach in every single one of my videos. And so we're going to go to Vegas in a couple of days and hopefully come back stronger than ever we spent all day Sunday uh, building motors and preparing heads and just getting stuff generally ready for this weekend here in Vegas, and I am super excited. Um, I think we're going to do really well, at least that's the hope, as always, um, and a couple of days here in, at school in San Marcos, and then I am flying back out to Vegas to go racing. While I'm here in town, though, something exciting is happening. All of the big CNC machines for the shop are being moved literally tomorrow. I've, li I've got to be up. <laughs> uh, you guys don't know, know how long it is until I have to get up. It's not very long. Um, but uh, we're going to be driving up to Temple and moving all the machines, and that's going to be like one of the last big steps of us moving the shop, which is really, really nice. As soon as we get back from Vegas, all the businesses are going to be back up and running again, which we are super excited about. I've rambled on for long enough. I will see you guys in a few days in Vegas. Peace out and never give up.